We're out here at the Range Cow Research Center with Dave Lawman, and Dave, you have a field day going on, so tell us a little bit about what you have going. We're just getting ready to get started. Uh, I've got actually got a, we think we're going to have around 135 to 150 people today. Uh, the primary objective is to talk about ways to minimize hay feeding waste. So just, uh, just from a general principle standpoint, you know, we recognize that for a forage based operation, minimizing hay feeding period is probably more profitable for more operations. However, with the cost of land these days, it seems like we have more producers that are feeding hay. And Dr. Peel's data shows very clearly that, you know, with the invention of the round baler, hay feeding has increased over time. But another way to look at that is that it actually may be a reflection of the high cost of land. And so you can just go buy hay and increase your stocking or your cattle enterprise. So Curtis, the, the primary thing we're doing here today is try to help people think about alternative ways to feed hay and, and stop wasting as much of it. So one of those ways that you're attempting to reduce the waste is showing producers the difference in types of hay feeders and the amount of waste one can cause and the amount of waste that, that doesn't cause. That's one. We're going to talk about several techniques and there are, there are ways that we think you can probably reduce the amount of hay required by close to 30 percent in a winter compared to just putting all the hay out cows can eat 24 7. Okay so yeah that, the study we talked about a few weeks ago on SunUp this is an example of it right here. This is what we call uh, uh, I call it an ag shop feeder because I built several of these when I was in high school. Uh, but it has no solid bottom ring. Uh, it's very, it's economical. There are some advantages. It's inexpensive. Uh, it's light. It's easy to move. Uh, but these feeders rel fairly consistently waste about 21% of the original bay weight. Hey, um, excuse me, bale weight. So you can see all the way. So once those cows stand on that hay and defecate on it, urinate on it, they're not going to eat it. So it's a tremendous uh, waste. And for this field day, you did, so, you did a 24-hour demonstration on the amount of waste each one, you know, can occur. Yeah, we did. So we sort of replicated our research study we did several years ago. And it was Sunday afternoon, we put out these, uh, we cleaned off these concrete pads. We put a fresh bale in these feeders. And then 24 hours later, we came and scraped up or raked up all the hay around these feeders and weighed it on an electronic scale. Uh, this feeder had a hundred pounds of hay waste. The yellow feeder with a solid ring around the bottom had 50 pounds of hay waste around the outside. And the basket feeder, so, so that feeder incorporates uh, two things. One is a, a kind of a modified basket on top and then a solid ring around the bottom. The waste around it was six pounds. So, Dramatic difference, just like the research so showed several years ago.